Let's take a look at the menu navigation for the Revic PMR. Okay, the Revic PMR has a really cool heads up display and it can be really simple to use. Just dial the turret to the range, take your shot. But underlying that is a very, very sophisticated ballistic engine uh, and computer system that controls all your inputs and all your variables. You've got a lot of settings that you can change on the PMR. So we, we've created a menu structure. You, it'll feel similar to some of the, the high-end digital cameras that you're used to, but we use these four buttons and the enter button to enter the navigation menu, navigate to the different uh, menus, and then, and then select different items for uh, adjustment, whether you're changing variables or you're turning them features on and off, like Bluetooth, for example. So to start with, we need to power up the Revic, press and hold for three seconds, and that takes you to the main display. So from the main display, to enter the navigation menu, all you have to do is press the enter button, short press, and that takes you right to your temperature, pressure, kind of weather module. So at that weather module, you can scroll down. Let's scroll to the base wind and we'll hit enter. And if you notice the outline changes from showing the, the values and the heading, now all of a sudden when you press enter, it's just the values that are outlined. If you use the up and down arrows, you'll see that you can adjust your values. So if you hit enter again, now you'll see that that outline encompasses everything. So now the up and down arrows move you up and down to the menu. So let's say we want to go to the next menu. From any setting, like if you're on ambient temperature or pressure or basement, from any one of those uh, variables, if you've got the big outline, if you hit the left and right button, it'll take you left and right through the menu items. So if we go left, we're going to see the heads up display. And in, in the heads up display menu, you can change your reticle brightness, your display brightness, reticle color, etc. The next one is your uh, kind of settings or setup menu. And so you've got your heads up zero, you've got your uh, setup wizard, uh, system units, uh, click calibration, etc. So lo th these are really getting into some deep topics. Uh, you definitely want to watch the videos on those so you understand what they are and how to use them. So if we go one more to the left, it kind of starts you back over on the furthest right menu, and that is your wireless. So we've got your Bluetooth on and off, and we have uh, the specific MAC address for the Bluetooth on this rifle scope. Now, if you, you get four or five Revic devices, a couple rifle scopes, a couple of the uh, handheld meters, and uh, you know some of the other things that are coming, you get those all in one spot, say like a shooting line, target line, you want to be able to identify which device is yours so that you're not inadvertently connecting to the wrong device. So let's go ahead and turn the Bluetooth off. So in that menu, Bluetooth is, is outlined. If I hit enter, now the on is outlined. I'll just kick it off and then hit enter again. And now I can go left to the next one, which is the battery. So in this menu, you can set your sleep time. And that's where you go from full power on to kind of standby mode. Uh, you can also change your battery type and that will that'll help your battery meter display the correct thing. So if you go one more, you've got your uh, profiles. And so you have all your profiles listed and you've got the, uh, the ability to select which one is on display. Now you can even deep dive further into this profiles. If you hit enter, you know, rather than outline taking you to a small number, what it does is it shows you your muzzle velocity and BC. And you see a little arrow there that tells you to arrow down. So every one of these variables is editable. So while you have to load a profile on the device, you can adjust in small ways, like your BC, muzzle velocity, um, et cetera. And so, so let's say your barrel's wearing out, or let's say uh, you've shot the gun a lot and, it, and the powder, um, temperature factor and you know barrel fouling condition wants to bring the speed up or you change a lot of ammunition and the BC changes a little you can tune that right there on the device you don't have to go back to the app so pretty cool information there so let's navigate back out of there and so the last one is the center heads up menu and that's kind of your compass and so that's kind of a vector related one you've got azimuth latitude true north and calibration so pretty much there's some more setup information that's there uh, and you can also do some things like turn on and off some of the sensors and some of the corrections that we're doing in the ballistics. 
So as you're navigating through the menu, one of the things you're going to notice is if you don't make any arrow adjustments or entries, it kind of takes you away from the navigation back to the main display pretty quickly. You've got about a second and a half to make an entry, otherwise it's going to kick you back. Um, but even then, sometimes you're trying to make an adjustment and get back to the main display. Uh, if you do a press and hold for you know a second, then you'll, you'll kick out of the uh, navigation and it'll take you back to the main display. So a couple ways to exit. Uh, press and hold to enter or just let it time out and it'll take you back. So that's a pretty quick overview of the uh, Revic PMR uh, main display uh, entry into navigation and uh, the different menu items that are in the navigation menu and you know kind of how to select different items for entering and editing. It's pretty complex but it's fairly intuitive so once you dive in there you can push your buttons uh, navigate, get a feel for it, and then uh, as, as you're using the scope, the more familiar you are, uh, the more likely you will be able to set up a different uh, scenario or make the adjustments you need when you need it. So please practice, take a look at it, and uh, uh, review that video. So this is the Revic PMR Main Navigation.